I am August Barron. I am from Westchester, Pennsylvania. My name is Emily. I'm from Downingtown, Pennsylvania, which is like 45 minutes away from here. Um, I'm Mac, and I'm from Bucks County. I am currently architecture undecided. Um, I don't get to choose my exact major until sophomore year, but I will be in the design track. Um, I'm a freshman, so I don't have anything like declared, but I'm a BFA, and I'm like leaning towards something like 3D-ish, I think. Right now I'm an undecided Bachelor of Fine Arts student, but I'm looking to go into printmaking. I took the continuing ed summer programs two summers before I gra uh, graduated from high school. Um, the first summer program I took an art class and a figure drawing class um, because I just wasn't sure what kind of art and like what, what kind of styles I was into. I just was like exploring. It was between my like junior and senior years of high school, so like 2016, like that summer, and I took the like portfolio boot camp thing for like two weeks. Um, I started taking the pre-college classes in sophomore in my junior year of high school. I took graphic design, printmaking, figure drawing, drawing, and I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> it absolutely did. I definitely want to say that taking those summer classes like made the decision that I was going to go to art school, that I, that no matter where I went, it was going to be an art major or some sort of design or something creative because I just I was done with like the, the traditional like learning process. Like something the number one thing I learned in summer in those summer programs were this how studio space works and that studio space is a completely different learning environment and it's such a better learning environment to get work done. Yes, I was like a weird case. So like <clears throat> I was like on track to be like a biochemist until like junior year, so I didn't have a portfolio at all. Um so then I like heard about this like boot camp thing and I like was like oh I have to do that. And so like I probably wouldn't have gotten into college without doing it to be honest, which is like so good. They definitely like helped me with my portfolio and having like a wide variety of different mediums and different kinds of still lifes in my portfolio. So I really don't think I would have had such like a wide range of things in my portfolio if it wasn't for these classes. I used every single piece from the portfolio boot camp in my uh, college application and I definitely think that played the biggest factor in getting me accepted to all of the schools I applied to. Yeah, it was like scary to like not have any like experience and then be like oh this is what I'm gonna do and show up with people that have been doing it forever but it was definitely like super helpful to like have actual like studio time like before going to college yeah, it was good I feel like I definitely did like the co like the programs here were like pretty intensive and I feel like it is almost the same as like the classes I'm taking right now Tyler it's a, it's a new home it I spend I want to spend, say I spend more time here than in my dorm, so it's honestly, it's literally a new home. And second, it's just, it becomes a family. You, you, in architecture, you start to, you know, so, you know everyone so often because um, you're just always here. And um, you, you kind of have to work with people. And the studio environment just enforces this, like, collaboration among everyone, and it's fantastic. I love going to Tyler. Like, I've been taking the classes here like before coming to college so it you know kind of felt like a second home to me I guess so I was really excited to come back and stay here all the time. It's like they're giving you advice and they're giving you advice on how to succeed and how to become a better artist rather than like teaching you specific things. It was like my first experience with like a studio culture like in actuality where you're like all together for like six hours a day and like you get to know everyone so well and you get to know your teachers so well and it's just kind of like um, the first time I had done that since I was like very young. So um, like the best part was just being with all other art people and like doing what we like to do for like a long time during the day. Well, I met like a lot of really great people and a lot of like other really talented artists who I'm still friends with today and I are at Tyler right now too and you know, it's like we always bond over that and I really, really love taking the printmaking class. That was like really what made me want to go to art school. One thing I, I if, you, if you, when you actually go to college, you, you have so much more freedom though. 
you, you have freedom to do more of what you want because you're not constrained by this two-week um, uh, timeline. You, you, you have the entire semester and you have four years to create and it's fantastic. Art school here is like more stressful, not in a bad way, but it's like definitely like it's more grade and you have like a very limited time, but that was like just for fun and like to build your like repertoire and like skill set. <clears throat> so it like wasn't high pressure and you could kind of like take your time with things and like um, experiment with weird stuff that you probably like wouldn't or like wouldn't have done before. The difference is probably time management. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of projects in like the college, like actually actual college who, you know, have due dates and you know, they catch up on you fast, so. To apply, uh, to, to not like, uh, don't, don't be afraid of becoming an art student or going to art school because all of the stereotypes that you, that high schoolers tell you are false. Um, that art school is not easy. It's not just a breeze, it's just, it's not a walk in the park. It's so much work, it's, it, it's, an amazing experience and it teaches you so much. Well, I really think that you know, if you love art, you should pursue it no matter what. Whether it be, you know, actually going to art school or keeping it as a hobby, it's such like a great outlet. And I really think that, you know, just practicing and if you love it, keep going with it. No matter like, you know, people approve of it or not. If it makes you happy and you're enjoying your time doing it, you will get something out of it. It's not scary. Like, it seems scary and it seems like everyone's um, always like the constant, like, you won't get a job, like that, like, old trope. Um, but art school, oh, and it's not easy. Like, it's gonna be tough. You're gonna have, like, hard times. It's gonna be stressful. It's not just like, ooh, art school. Um, anyone that says that to you while you're going through it, just like, don't even listen. Um, but it's like so much better than you think it's gonna be. You can get a job, um, you can work through it, and you get to become like this great amazing artist. Like it's so good. So.